with another one. Yeah, I don't usually make so much, but I got some time, and why not? Um, I tried a different setup the other day, well, and it didn't turn out the way I really wanted it to. With the audio and the and the vision and the, the video was okay. It wasn't as good as I wanted it to be. So I uh, ordered a GoPro. Well, I'm ordering a GoPro. Let me let me correct myself. Didn't order it yet because I don't know which one I want to get. Uh, I gotta duck down. Okay. All right. So I wanted to try these bar and mirrors in the daytime too. I was just so eager yesterday to ride. So let's see how this thing goes. All right. Okay. So, it is a lovely Sunday morning today. Um, it's warm enough this week in South Florida. Not that it was really that cold, but colder than what it usually is. Um, so yeah, my audio should be good. Um, sorry about the voiceover for the last one. I don't really like doing voiceovers. It takes away from what I was really trying, to, what I was really saying throughout the video. But it's all good, you know. I'm always gonna make more because this is, you know, really what I like to do. So I did take a ride on my um, 250 this morning, around because uh, and oh, so much better with the 17 tooth sprocket. I'm gonna make a video on it. I just wanted to get a longer ride in today while it was still bright. So, but um, yeah, definitely 17 tooth sprocket with that bigger tire, I definitely can get up a lot faster um, than I did before. Um, so yeah, uh, so if you have a DF 250 or Venom X22, whatever you want to call it. To me, the best configuration would be the 17 tooth sprocket and the 36 uh, tooth rear sprocket with that tire. Now, when I had the smaller tire, um, it was actually pretty good. But when you get that bigger tire, you lose a little bit of torque on the high end to me. So, you know. But overall, great bike. I still love how it looks. You know, even though I was thinking about making it naked, uh, I scratched that idea. I like how it looks, um, you know, as it is right now. So, yeah. Oh man, I don't know why I didn't do these bar in so long ago. I keep saying that, it's like it's so much better I can see behind me. But um, yeah, for all those who had snow out in Texas, you know, hope everybody's okay. You know, I have a couple friends out in Texas, Dallas and San Antonio, and you know, they're all right. You know, they had some times where they lost power and it was cold. But um, you know, things happen, get through them, makes us stronger. That's how it goes. And um, I'm just happy that I'm, uh, you know, able to be out here in this weather. So, you know, I was, uh, this motor vlog thing has been very, real interesting. I get a lot of suggestions uh, for motor vlogs to watch on my channel. And I was watching somebody, he, uh, he rides, uh, what is it, a Husqvarna, is it? Vitpillin 
401, one of those. And um, I was watching his videos and one of the roads he was traveling looked real familiar. And when I, when I actually was paying attention to it, he was pretty much in my area. And it was uh, straight, like he, he did a video right on the same road that I do a video, <laughs> that, a video on. So it's interesting to see people in your area that do the same thing you do. Um, definitely interesting. So, um, yeah, shout out to um, him. I forget, what was his name? Was it Forever, Forever A Ride? Something like that. But, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's cool to see people doing this like you. It's, it's definitely fun to do. And, um, you know, I enjoy it. I really do. And I enjoy watching people do it. So, yeah, um, what I was saying before in the last video, I love how my bike looks now, me looking down at it. Like, I, I just, I love it. <laughs> it looks, it looks great to me. It looks great. I can't, I can't deny it. With the bar and mirrors, yeah, there we go. And, and it's a little easier to adjust in the daytime than the nighttime. I thought I had it good, but not really how I wanted it. So, you know, it's enough. Uh, yeah, I, when I uh, get to like 2,500 miles, I'm gonna do another review on this bike. You know, just to sh really share how I feel about it. Even though I, I adore it right now, but you know. It's uh, more than enough speed, and now that I put these mods on it, them, I feel I feel like anybody who gets a bike initially, then um, you know, after they make it their own, it becomes a little bit you like it a lot more. You know, I feel like that's with a lot of things, you know. But yeah, after putting these bar and mirrors on, I kind of fell in love with it again. Just taking the the mirrors off. <laughs> You know, like I was saying in my other video, they look like antenna. And I got my block off place. Maybe when I stop, I'll show you guys what they look like. So, yeah, I really wanted to get up. Last night, I didn't really get up as fast as I wanted to because I want to see how these mirrors hold up, up to speed. So, it seemed like they'll do pretty well, though. The bike sounds so much better though, I can say, with this uh, the shorty type of exhaust I have on it. This makes the bike, so I would say the best mods I have on here are the windscreen, the bar ends, the exhaust, and the rear tire hugger. Um, yeah, like in my barns now, I'm just looking and I can see directly behind me. It's just so nice. <laughs> and how I have them angled too is just, I, they look cool. So I would definitely recommend uh, if you have this bike, um, or if you have bikes that you don't like how the mirrors look, get some barns. The, the functionality is great. Like I knew I didn't want, they look cooler when they're underneath but you, they're not as functional. So, but when they're like this, oh man, I can see everything. And um, like I said, on the windscreen, the last windscreen I had was better than the stock, but this is one is, probably the, is better than that one. Like it just sits up higher, as, I, as you guys saw in the other video. So, if you have this bike in particular, get, get a windscreen, please, because, you know, I don't, I don't, it was just unbearable on the highway before, With, without it, you would have to tuck really, really low, you know, and nobody wants to sit in that position that long, you know, at certain speeds. This, I rarely, I got on the highway and I'm like, I, I can sit in my position that I'm in right now, which is just a relaxed forward position, but not too forward, and I can definitely, um... I don't feel any wind on me, on my helmet at all. 
on my chest on my helmet just my just a little bit on my shoulders but that's about it so it's definitely uh, uh, a necessity a necessity so yeah I'm not gonna get any mirrors with any blinkers in it I'm gonna keep my stock blinkers where they are they don't look bad like that Like I, I pretty much watch every, like I said, video. When I when I get a bike, I watch a lot of videos on it. Like even my my scooter, I still watch videos on that. The people, uh, you know, getting them and see what they're doing to them, and you know, and even my 250, I, I like to see what other people does to the bike. Sometimes it gives me inspiration, just like how you know I would hope I give people inspiration to do something to their bike. So. You know, that's just how it goes. I feel like in a community like this is good to, you know, share info, share information. Why not? So what I'm going to start to do now on my videos is I'm going to start to make sure I have the links to everything that I, I put on the bike. I never really did it before, but I figure, you know, it's a new year. Let me, um try to put more effort into things i was it was just too i was just lazy i didn't feel like you know copying the link and putting it in the description so i'll make sure i do that now for everybody because a lot of people has asked me for the links for things so i'll try to do that a little more so yeah sorry if i ever if, if you ever asked me to put a link on something and i didn't it's just time, man. Just like I was saying in the beginning, everything takes time. And I, I tend to upload all my videos um, from my phone. And sometimes I don't, you know, I don't, the phone that I do my videos on, I just connect it to Wi Fi and upload it. It's not the my phone that I use on a daily basis or where I buy things from or anything. So I would have to actually upload the video. Then when I go into my YouTube studio to edit it, then I can probably do it from my phone, copy the link, et cetera, et cetera. So, you know, those little processes, that's how it goes. And um, like I said, new year, new things. Um, I'm coming up to 500 subscribers, which is great, it's awesome. You know, when I started this channel, it wasn't really about that. It was about, I just like to do this. <laughs> you know, I just, I like to be on the road. And, you know, I don't want to sound crazy. I like to talk to myself, but, <laughs> you know, you know what I'm trying to say, you know. So, and then some things, sometimes it's like, do, you, do people really want to hear what you have to say? And, so, and sometimes I get on my bike and I don't really know what to talk about sometimes, you know. But I just get on and I just love the ride, you know, and I just start talking and sometimes it works out, you know, but uh, you just have, I just have fun, basically. I have a lot of fun doing this and I like tweaking it and that's why, you know, like I said, I'm going to put more effort into it. So a lot of things to come for this channel um, I love riding I love being on two wheels so you know shout out to everybody who's like I said been watching and still are you know watching but yeah I'm, th I'm really thinking about getting a Grom clone <laughs> shout out to Tech Junkie he said he has one um, on his yeah I've seen his on his channel and um, you know I just like the the modification factor of them how they look but the clone I'm going to probably get, because there's a lot of clones, you know, there's, you know, the Hellcat, there's Vader, there's, you know, I think the one that I like the best is probably going to be the Ice Bear Fuerza, because it already has a little stretch to it. I like that stretch Grom look. So, I think I'm going to get that one sometime this summer. Who knows when but definitely get looking into the next but I, I decided I'm like I don't really need any more power 
because you know I'm uh, I just don't <laughs> let's just say that I just don't I'm good I'm good this bike for now will be the biggest bike I own and it is a definitely big difference from my 250 I mean it's night and day it's night and day as far as the performance of it and how it picks up I mean it's, it's that one is rated I believe and I, like I said it's rated at 223 cc but when I look at my um, my um, it says 250 you know so I believe I have a 250 on that or at least that's what I'm thinking who knows you know it if you have one and you look at it where uh, the jug is or the you know where the spark plug goes it, it, it'll tell you what's on there and when I was looking for big board kits for it it was saying 223 and stuff like that so all right so I'm gonna show you guys what my my cutoff uh, my mirror block off place look like real quick show you those appreciate you guys huh yeah that's one thing I do forget is that uh kickstand goes down it cuts off which is fine no big deal all right let me make sure so yeah there they are right there they say CBR on them a little closer so yeah bike is coming out how I really want it looks good so yeah appreciate you guys I'm gonna try to drop more consistently that's what I'm trying to do but and I changed the resolution of the camera so it looks should look a little better let's see how it goes all right you guys have a great day